guys, how's it going? Welcome back. And for those who are new, my name is Ruby, and this is my channel, Miss Me Truly. And today I'm going to be doing another series of my Is It a No or a Go? Basically, basically it's a first impression demo and review, and it's going to be on a new product that I found at Sephora here in Canada. And it's, I don't know how to really describe it, it's kind of like a liquid lipstick, it seems like, but also a gloss, a mix of both. So I'm excited to try it out. It's none other than NARS Velvet Lip Glide. So I got mine in this color and it's called Play Pen. And I'm going to go on the website and see what it says about this product so you can get an idea of what it's supposed to be. It says that it is an innovative, long-lasting lip color with a smooth, semi-matte finish that provides ultimate hydration. What it does, it says this highly saturated lip color combines covetable comfort and confidence shades in one smooth move. Its wand coats like a lipstick, it glides on like a gloss. The finish is semi-matte, long-lasting, and non-drying for luscious, vibrant lips. Water lily flowers and white tea extract are infused into this hybrid lip glide for antioxidant protection and ultimate hydration. So I'm not sure what to call this, but it sounds like a pretty bomb lip product, so I'm excited to try it. So I'm just gonna jump right into the demo. Oh, but before I do that, I just wanna say I got this at Sephora here at Canada for about $36, I believe. I will check my receipt and I'll put the info right here. But yeah, other than that, let's move on to the demo. Okay, so it just comes in a typical NARS box like that. You take it out and it just looks like this. You can see the color and then this is like a rubbery um, lid. The usual NARS packaging pretty much and then it just says NARS around. And it's a twist off. And that's how the applicator looks. So it's a pretty tiny applicator, dome tip applicator. So it looks like it would be really precise. So I'm excited to try it. Let me see if I can zoom you in a bit as well. So I didn't put any lip liner or anything on my lips. So let's go ahead and try this on. I'm just going to be looking down here because my mirror will be down here. So that's one swatch. I should have swatched out my hand. I'll do that after. One side of the wand, I'm gonna flip it over and use the other side for the top part of my lip. So, this is how it looks with one layer. I'm going to see if it's buildable. I'm just going to dip it in again, just a tiny bit, and just apply it on areas I feel like I need more on. Alright, so this is how it looks on. Um, first impression, I think I really like the color on my skin tone. Also, I feel like it does have a velvety slash kind of moussey texture when you first apply it on, but it glides on smoothly, um, and it feels lightweight at the moment. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. So yeah, that's my first impression as of right now, but I'm going to head out. So I'm going to test it out for about like a couple hours or so, and then I will check back in. So it's now 3.31 in the afternoon. I did a lot of running around. That's why I'm super sweaty. Please don't mind my face. But I really got to test it out, and it's been at least a couple hours or so, and I had uh, quite a bit to drink. I just had a bottled water and also... Um, some soup so it did definitely take the velvet lip guide off as you can see I don't have any on at the moment so I want to see how well it reapplies I guess there's not really much to apply on since it's all gone but I will touch up and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on this product okay so I touched up a bit so I'm gonna reapply the lip product so I pretty much have nothing on anyway but I will just So this is how it looks reapplying it. Um, I feel like reapplying it, it's the same 
it feels the same as when you first apply it just because I pretty much didn't have anything on but I think it has such a smooth texture that even if you apply it reapply it it won't be too tacky as long as you don't guck it on anyways what I'm gonna do now is what I usually like to do I like to go through each claim that the product makes and then I let you know if I think it's true or not so let's go ahead and do that is the product long-lasting um See, I wore it for about two hours. I was out at the mall and I felt like it was on still. Um, maybe two and a half, I felt like it was drying to more of a matte. Like it says it's a semi-matte. But then once I started eating, it completely took it off. But before that, it was lasting quite a long time. And I feel like if I didn't eat or drink anything, um, it would have stayed longer. So I think, say for a lip gloss, if I was to compare it to lip gloss, it does last longer than other lip gloss. But I don't think it's like a as long lasting as, say, a matte liquid lipstick. Does it apply smoothly? Yes, it does apply smoothly. I just think you have to play around with the product, the placement of where you put the product and kind of move, um, move the gloss around, I guess, if that makes sense. Does it have a semi-matte finish? At first, I feel like it definitely looks more glossy, but throughout the day, it starts to turn a little bit more matte. So yes, I do think it does. Is it hydrating? Um, I don't want to fully give my answer in this one because I've only wore it, I've only worn it for one day, but I will update my answer down below in the info bar. But as of right now, I do feel like it's very hydrating. It didn't make my lips feel dry or it didn't make my lips chapped, so I'd have to say yes, it's hydrating. Is it comfortable to wear on the lips? That is a definite yes. I just like how smooth it feels on my lips. I just keep smacking my lips together. I can't help it. I really enjoy the texture, I guess. It's not too thick. It's not too moussey. I feel like the one thing as well that I really like is it's not sticky. Is it pigmented? Yes, it is definitely pigmented. Um, it is like a gloss, but like a lipstick like it claims, and I definitely do agree that that claim is legit. Does it give your lips a luscious look, and also is it not drying? Um, I mentioned the not drying earlier, I don't think it is, and I think it gives my lips a luscious look. I feel like it does at least. So I guess the last question is, as usual, is this NARS Velvet Lip Glide, is it a no or a go? I would have to say personally for me that it is a go and the reason for that is because it does seem like or glides on like a gloss but it has true pigmentation like a lipstick and those two combined is the two things that I'm looking for in a lip product at the moment. Um, $36 I feel it is quite a bit pricey for 0.2 ounces. Also I haven't really seen anything like this I guess the closest would be the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. They're very pigmented but I feel like those are more drying and they're harder to work with than this product. Also another thing is that if I didn't eat I think the color would have stayed on longer and also I don't mind reapplying my lip glosses or lipstick anyway so that's not a problem for me. Um, but the main thing is I feel like it's comfortable. I really like this color on my skin tone and I forgot to check if it had any scent. And it doesn't, ha it doesn't, I can't smell anything as well, so I don't think it has any like strong scent to it, so that's also a plus. I feel like this is a definite go for me. I can justify $36. I'm not saying there aren't other affordable options, I'm sure there are, and if I do find something similar to this, I will link it down below. But just at the moment for me, I feel like this is the product I need going into winter. So, yeah, that completes my first impression demo and review on this new NARS. Velvet Lip Glide. I can never fully remember that name. Um, I'm excited to try more products or more colors out. And also I will be wearing this and testing this out more throughout the week. So if anything changes, I will update it down below in the info bar. Yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button so I know. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I also have like a drugstore product that I will be doing another se series like this on. I just found this and I wanted to um, do this first. But that will be up after this, I believe. So yeah, I think I've rambled on enough. Also, before I go, I just wanted to also let you know you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, 
Twitter and Snapchat. They are all Miss B Truly. So please check them out and let me know if you're from here and I will definitely give you a message back. And if you have any videos or any products you want me to uh, do a video on and review, comment down, comment down below. I can't talk anymore. I better go. But yeah, let me know and I'd be more than happy to do it for you. All right. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you again soon. Mwah. Bye.